Hey everybody, TGIF, happy Friday, happy Friday. Jen Cravasi coming to you from the workshop out at Jekyll Bake Company. JBCO is jumping today. We've got a lot going on. Gonna show you a little bit of what we're doing today. Most of these are gonna be crawl patterns. As a matter of fact, probably all of these over here, except for a couple, will be crawl patterns. And it's super cool. It's gonna be shallow running mostly, except for a couple of DT10s. Great summer patterns. That's what's left to do. But so far, it has been a very productive day. So we're having fun out here in the workshop. Just kind of do a little bit of a whip around. Yeah, we're having fun. That's the latest. I've been having a lot of fun with that. Getting back into the painting arts. It's just uh, it's just that time of year again. So hey, what are we listening to today? Well, you know, I always like to incorporate music. Um, being a touring musician in a previous life, or eh, who knows, maybe I'll do it again. Yep, that's the first time I've said that publicly in a very long time. Well, I'm inspired again. Really, uh, really good acquaintance, long, long time ago, Aaron Kondo has started doing the, uh, the podcast, and this is called the Up Texas PA Radio Hour. So if you get a chance, go to podbean.com and look up Up Texas PA. She's on there. She's got seven episodes, and it's really, really cool. It's innovative. It's new music, and it's uh, done from a very cool local perspective. So this is a, a song called Cheap Perfume, Gin, Smoke, and Lies. But if you get a chance, please check it out. This is very, very cool stuff. Brand new. This is a fresh sound, and we love the pod bean. So anyways... What are we doing? Sit down with me here for a little bit. So this is the work that we've got going on. I've got a bunch of stuff that's going out to Maine. One of my best customers, Nick, is going to be getting a bunch of stuff here in a little bit. Um, really excited. These are, now they're not wiggle wart wiggle warts, they're wiggle wart knockoffs. Let's see if I can say that right. They are wiggle wart knockoffs. Say that five times fast with me, folks. Uh, but these, the cool thing about these little guys, is that they suspend for the first time. They have suspending warts. So we got a bunch of cool little patterns for him. Love the red eyes on this. Just a blast. I have so much fun creating stuff for him. Um, and he's very, very chill about what the, uh, what the product is going to look like as long as it's fishable and it's a great pattern. Little fire tiger, red eyed. He did ask for some perch this time, so we have a, an interesting little pattern for him. I really think that these are going to do well in clear or stained water. These are the Pop Max. There we go. A little bit of chartreuse on the belly. And then the iPhone cut out because it wanted to update, and that's okay. We do what the iPhone wants us to do. Um, anyways, I was in the middle of describing how cool these were. Um, these should be great little fish catchers. We are listening to Aaron Kondo, the Up Texas PA Radio Hour. Here is a little, little frog. If Twitter is your thing, you might find a picture that I these little guys are cool. Check us out, or these are headed to upstate New York. Uh, or like minus the cat hair, we're gonna get the cat hair off of there. <laughs> it happens. You can send that to Aaron Condo, P.O. Box. Yeah, we'll get that off of there for you there. My friend Don. Nope, it's almost off. Have a great week, It's uh, well, there you have it. A little cat hair. Uh, I'm not gonna catch any catfish. That's crazy. All right, so we did get off the uh, the cat hair from this other one. Um, there we go. We've got a little bit of uh, flash going on under this one. I'm giving Don a couple of different samples. Now this, this is a little man's blank going to, I believe, Louisiana. Sorry if I screwed that up. Um, a childhood favorite. Um, we're recreating a couple of baits for this guy. Um, then we've got some wiggle warts. 
Um, these are not suspending. I don't know what's going on with the cat hair. Uh, yes, I have cats. Um, not a crazy cat lady. Got dogs too, but there is a fluffy cat that lives in this house, and uh, I'm blaming him. So, Chewbacca, that's all your fault. Aaron Kondo singing it to you from the Up Texas PA Radio Hour. And there you have it. That was fun. So this is what's going on here at Jekyll Bait Company. Just chilling out on a Friday, listening to some good local tunes. Just got a little bit of muted fish pattern, some scaling on this, which I really like doing the scaling. Of course, it helps when the, there we go, when the bait's in focus on the camera. Um, what else did we do for him? Um, just a, there we go. Couple of neat little patterns. I have so much fun doing this stuff, you guys. So that's what's going on. Friday, Friday, Friday at Jekyll Bait Company. Oh, did I show you this already? If I did, I apologize. I'm going to show it to you again. So we're also doing some other interesting, this is more cool and eclectic, I think, than anything else, but it will catch you fish. This is a medium diver. It'll go like 10 to 12 feet. A little bit of scrolling. Some people call these lightning hashes. Um, just some basic stenciling. Almost a, a robin color. There we go. Thanks for checking it out. That's what we got for you today. Had some cool tunes from Aaron Condo McCracken. And we will catch you next time. We've got another video out, coming out shortly. And that is going to be just some basic shore fishing. I, I like to kind of speak to both crowds. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there that are either just getting started in the angling community or they have um, they just don't have a boat or they have a kayak. So I really like to feature shore fishing and boat fishing. Um, I love I love competing in tournaments. That's my kind of thing, um, but it may not be yours. So we'll try and feature as much as we can from both shore and boat um, because there's a, a lot of both of you guys out there. And we certainly recognize that here at Jekyll Bait Company. Last but certainly not least, this is a bone white, almost an angel white with just a little hint. Can I get? Oh, the dogs are talking. Just a little bit of shading around the eyes, kind of to accentuate those eyes. And that's what we like to do. This is a Duo 100 suspending. It'll suspend for you, and this will definitely... This is something that I would be like late summer, go to early fall, uh, when those shad are starting to die off, and you get a little bit more uh, transparency in your fish and your bait fish. So... There we have it. Now I'm going to show you uh, the rest of the what I've what I've got going on. I'm going to show that to you as soon as I finish it. All right. So it is now Saturday. We did the uh, the first part of this on Friday. I told you I was in the process of doing a bunch of crawl patterns and crawl patterns. We did. Let me tell you what. I uh, I knocked out quite a few. Um, have already sold quite a few this morning. Had a rush order I had to contend with. And uh, now we're in the midst of uh, sorting through, cleaning, dressing, and getting these out the door as well. So, who could want anything more? We got the Bassmaster Live coming from Toledo Bend in many Louisiana. And then over here, we've got some really, really cool craws. So, wearing the glove because we're dressing and the reason I always talk about this the reason that we dress with gloves is that it doesn't transfer the oils from the skin onto the bait when you have a clear coated bait that's brand spanking new um, I really like to try and keep the integrity of the clear coat intact as long as we can um, these are double clear coated it's KBS diamond strength clear coat which is outstanding the automotive industry uses these types of clear coats um, just really, really awesome. So we've got some wiggle warts. All right. And just some slight color variations. I like to mix it up a little bit, but some slight color variations on these. But nonetheless, super sweet. Good and clear. 
good in stained water. Got some holographic stuff. I'm actually going to be auctioning these um, a little bit later on this evening. So if you guys are seeing this, well, maybe I'll wait till Sunday. If you guys are seeing this Saturday evening, um, and it would be Saturday, April the 8th, then Sunday the 9th on the Bass Baits Buy and Sell, I will be auctioning a couple of square bill holographic crawl pattern off. So we've got a couple of 1.5 deep diving cranks, old blue eyes, got a little bit more of a natural on this, nice spring crawl or a pre or post molt depending on where you live, crawls will turn this color. Did a round bill. Uh, actually, this is not going to be auctioned. It's already sold. I had a request for a round bill, which I don't get requests for them very often. But again, just fun, fun, fun baits to spray. Um, gives me a chance to use a, a little bit different of a technique than I normally do. But yes, indeed. And then we've got uh, some DT10. There's that cat hair. Oh my god. It's going to drive me crazy. It's not attached to the bait, folks. I promise you it's not. But we have a little bit less humidity in the air. A little bit of static clean going on there. Cleaned it off. Yeah, fuzzy. Fuzzy baits. There we go. Nice and clean. So that's what we were working on. Then, of course, the S-Cranks. These didn't last at all. Um, I did three, and they were gone within like an hour or so matter of fact uh, a gentleman that won an auction wanted the other two directly so todd thanks bro i appreciate the uh, the sale and uh, i hope it catches you nothing but lunkers so that's what we got going on really excited about how these turned out oh yeah that's right i got this little man this man baby one minus There we go. All right, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Happy fishing. If you're out on the water, be safe. If you're shore fishing, be safe. Catch a bunch, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care.